OK, here's the second example question that I didn't quite get to today in class. And this is an example of the use of a thermochemical cycle to find the solubility uh, constant of this mercurous chloride salt. And the givens I'm going to give you in an exam situation or a problem would be we know the standard reaction potential of aqueous mercurous ion or the reaction potential of mercurous chloride. So these are our two values that you would read off of a table or that I would give you. And then the question will be how to find KSP. Um, so at this point, I would suggest that you pause the video, try to work through this on your own, and then I will now provide the answer once you've finished giving it a try. OK, um, so here's the answer. This is how we want to think about working it through. So we know that KSP, this refers to the equilibrium constant of this reaction, the dissolution of this salt. So this is in equilibrium with the mercurous ion and two chloride ions. So this is KSP. So one way to approach this would be to think about the thermochemical cycle or use these equations in a thermochemical cycle that works for you. So I'm going to put this value that we want to calculate. So we know KSP, th this is the question that we want to know. But we know that if we assign this equation to, let's say, delta G not 1, so delta G not 1 must equal negative RT log KSP. So if we can figure out the thermochemical cycle to give us delta G1, we can then get to this equilibrium constant. So the two equations that we have are we know that if we start, this is our starting material. So if we know that the reduction of this same starting material gives us two chlorides plus mercury liquid, then we can draw this chemical cycle down. So this is over here. So this is plus two electrons. And then this gives us two plus two chlorides. And then let's call this delta G2. And then over here, um, how can we relate the products to this for a thermochemical cycle? We can see that this mercurous ion over here is the same as this one over here. So then we can relate this reduction over here. I'm going to draw this in maybe blue. Is if we reduce this, and if we don't reduce this, so this is still a balanced reaction. And then so if we add two electrons here, then we also get to uh, the same uh, liquid mercury and two chloride ions. So overall, if we call this delta G not three, if we think about which way we're going around the chemical, chemical cycle, so here we want to find out delta G not one, so going this way. So again, the pathway doesn't matter for a thermochemical cycle, so we could also do the same idea is if we go here and then to here, and we should get to the same delta Gs. So by that token, we could then relate that delta G not 1 equals delta G not 2 going down. And then since we're going this way, going backwards, this will be minus delta G not 3. The reason I've chosen the arrows to draw this way is because we've assigned these as reduction potentials. So this is the, the way that we're going. And then so now, we can then substitute out delta G naughts for our reduction potentials. So then we can say that delta G naught 2 is going to be equal to, uh, this is a two electron process. So this will be negative 2F times E naught. So this will be 0 0.268. And then delta G naught 3 is going to be, again, a two electron process and equals 2. This potential is 0.8. So we'll be subtracting, subtracting negative 2 F 0.8. And then so overall, this should give us, if I can do the math, it should be 0.8 minus 0.268, which is 0.532 times 2 is 1.064. So I think this is about 1.064 F. 
And then this should be equal to negative RT log K SP. Don't have a calculator on me. Um, so what we know is that this is fairly insoluble, the, this mercury's chloride. So this, this equation should have a pretty low KSP. So if we do the subtraction right, we should end up with a very low KSP. Um, so I'll leave you to do that on your own. Hopefully, the answer will come out to be something reasonable. Um, so yes, that's how you work through with the mechanical cycle. There are problems on your problem set that you can practice on.